the Batwing, as it appears in the latest Batman movie, appears to be um, to be a mixture of influences that are not all compatible with each other. So, for example, it can accelerate very fast and it can turn very tightly, and yet it has a blocky design which is characteristic of uh, stealth technology. And that has nothing to do with aerodynamics, but it has to do with um, escaping radar detection. And it comes at a considerable cost in aerodynamics. Uh, it also seems to be able to fly extremely slowly, following cars down streets, which is one of the hardest things to do. Uh, and apparently that's accompanied by almost no disturbance to the air around it, which is not realistic under any circumstance. Um, and there's one peculiar feature of the Batwing actually that makes it a little bit hard to believe that doesn't really seem to be a wing. The defining characteristic of all aircraft we know is the possession of a wing. And the purpose of a wing is to accelerate air downwards. The reaction force to that is lift upwards. The uh, wing of the bat appears to be reduced in size and uh, is quite uh, square in shape. Um, to make it possibly the least aerodynamically efficient design you can think of. And you have these conflicting uh, requirements to be stealthy or to be efficient and maneuverable. You can't really have both. Maybe Batman can though. I have a collaboration with a group of biologists in Sweden who are quite good at training birds and bats to fly in a wind tunnel. Some of the systems that they've evolved over millions of years can inform our designs. I think, I think the bat wing would be more feasible if it were this big. Okay. It would be very close to current capabilities, but I'd still like to have a wing on it. <laughs>